Goes full uh, seven laps. Sat on the uh, start line beautifully. No gaps in the group. Just waiting for that start. Engines revving. Bit of a rolling going on with a couple yeah, of them. A couple of them, mate. A yeah, bit of a move. Good start off. at the front, see. though. Looks like Miles got the jump. We'll see as we get back to the start as the whole field will cleanly away. Miles, Davis and McGuinness as they were on the grid. The fourth car just waiting for it to come past is uh, 32-22, which is a great start for him. Plenty of passing. Plenty of passing. Too wide. Yeah. That's not unusual for Formula <laughs> Fords. Yeah, they're usually sometimes four wide, aren't they? Yes, they are. So... Down the sweeper out. they go. Coming out of there. Out through the dog leg and into tank. No change in the order as yet. Everybody's uh, keeping it all nice and tidy yes, as they, they head around the cleavage area and, uh, and then on to the old back straight. Bruce Connolly from New South Wales in car number 45 well up with them. It's an Elwin, an Australian built car. When Formula Fords first came into Australia, you could not import a car. It had to be built here, which helped a lot of the local manufacturers. However, yep. we are now allowed any type of Formula Ford, so a lot of these have been imported from America and England. That was a nice passing move down the back straight there by uh, car, can't quite pick up the number, the red one. Bit of drafting going on down the front straight. Again, there's that Elwin that we talked about before. He's being hotly pursued. There's Declan Fu in 342. 342, yes. Uh, making uh, red. Dropped a tenth, but um, he's still the fastest FA car in the race. Jonathan Miles is leading as an FC car, and the first FB car is uh, Willing. Car number 65 down in eighth, and the first FA one Fu in tenth. There's Fu there going around the outside. No, can't do it. Not going to make that stick unless he can get back up the inside again. No. That, that was the theory. <laughs> he was going to try and do the under and over. He's going to, no, no dive down into uh, the right hand or under the back straight. So he's given Nigel Hook in the uh, very, very modern Van Diemen 89, which means it was built in 1989, giving him a very bad time. Yeah. Try to worry him into a mistake. So far, the mistake not happening, but uh, certainly uh, put it, applying plenty of pressure to the uh, rear end of that car. Warwick in front of those two, and he's coming under some pressure. So this is the sort of dicing we see. This this is dicing, if you like, for place ninth. Um, yeah. They don't care. They're having a ball. That's right. And it's all about... Uh, getting out with a grin on your face at the end of the event. Yeah, yeah. yeah doing a stock take on the wheels on your car, and if yeah. you've got all four, <laughs> you've had a great time. Yep. So we've still got Miles and Davis and McGuinness out in front. Last time round, Miles was a second ahead. Davison was 2.7 and seconds ahead of McGuinness. It's a seven lap race, three of them have been down, four to go. This great dice again. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, uh, Luke Warwick has uh, stepped up in his Swift, which is a, uh, an English built car, very advanced in its day. In fact, it was banned for some time in historic, but I've let it in back in now. So Luke Warwick there in car number eight, making uh, some nice attempts. Not quite getting them pulled off, but uh, Bit of a crack. And what do you call a Formula Ford with no wheels on it, Bob? Uh, a canoe. Oh, I <laughs> figured that would It has been known to happen as well. So. Very rare to get all four, but certainly two is quite common. <laughs> <laughs> 
Never a good feeling when you uh, turn a race car into a motorcycle. No. Good move down the inside there from car 45. That's uh, Bruce Conley in the L1 triple zero, uh, double zero three slash B. And car 95, Will Faulkner in the 1989 Van Diemen. And uh, 49 is um, Eric Bellamy in a Wren, which is a Melbourne built car, having a bit of trouble there, we saw on the screen. Again, this great dice between these three. Ford McConnelly and Whelan, all having a, a great dice for uh, fourth position. Right, so we've just just been uh, told that there was that Bellamy was going slow because he was involved in a crash. So again, these three battling it out. And the brakes hooking it to the right. Jump onto the brakes again as they come into the start finish straight. They went back down uh, on the screen with the heading down through the cleavage with the group of cars there. So, um, right, well, 49 was uh, involved as we said in an accident, but he's back on the track and nothing wrong with him. So uh, obviously he didn't incur any damage in that off. And Miles still out in front with a 131 for his fastest lap time, which is uh, 131.61. Uh, half a second quicker. Yeah. Uh, he's got uh, just over a two second lead from Davidson. Davidson, sorry. Yeah, and Davidson's got a nearly four seconds on uh, on Ed McGuinness. Um, McGuinness has only got a couple of seconds or one and a half seconds on Connolly too, so he's being pressed. There's one of our FA cars, number 11, Matt Scott, in an Elfin 600, probably, and it is, that's the oldest car in the race, a 1970 Elfin 600. So that's been racing for 52 years, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> Very, very successful model, the Elfin 600. They, Gary Cooper built them over in Adelaide. Um, they were in Formula V, uh, sorry, Formula Ford, Formula 3, Formula 2, and I think they even dropped a Repco Brabham engine in one of them and took them to the Macau Grand Prix. Yes, the Elfin Mark uh, certainly produced a huge number of various cars through various categories. Most of them were very successful. Sought after overseas too by yes. uh, a lot of competitors. A lot of Formula Fords, I believe, came from Australia and ended up in America. Yes, a few of them. Continue with it. Oh, there's a bug. Oh, down nice down move down the inside, yes. Oh, and wheels touch. Up. And uh, yes, that's broken the suspension on that, that car for sure. Just clipped a wheel, and the problem yep. with open wheelers is that once one wheel goes over the other, it can flip you into the air, which it did. And now he's uh, so, beached um, completely. The uh, suspension's broken. One wheel cocked right up in the yeah. air. Got no hope of moving from there. Sean Wilson, uh, so uh, wheeling all the way from Adelaide. Not unfortunate. Uh, uh, he's uh, trying certainly. to get off, but he's got a wheel off the ground, and um, <laughs> yeah. on both. Diagonally opposite mm. wheels yep. off the ground. And the floor of the car is sitting firmly yeah. on the yeah. track, so it's going to uh, cause a little bit of an, in an issue down there. Meanwhile, on the rest of the track, Neil Richardson from South Australia leading this bunch. Very pretty uh, Van Diemen RF89. One lap remaining. And 
just to give you a quick run up. Obviously, Miles is leading the FCs. Willing is still leading the FBs. And Fu is still leading the FA class. There he is. One. There he is. On Jonathan screen. Miles, a good nearly five, four and a half seconds ahead. So, uh, so we used to say he could turn it off and roll to the finish. We couldn't <laughs> quite yet. <laughs> no, I think you'd have to get out and push a little bit yeah. there, Bob. But uh, makes his way now down the the, uh, the new section of track or newer section. Hardly new anymore. It's been here for a oh, number of years. But it's new to us. Phil. It's new to us. Yeah. yeah. Comes through the final corner onto the start finish straight. Great win for Miles. Yet another one to chalk up. Hang on. Um, so there's Miles. And check first. a flag for Miles as he goes across the finish. And a uh, 4.4 seconds gap until second, which is Davison. Another five seconds we're waiting for McGuinness who gets across the line. Then Connolly right behind him. So there's the first five places, waiting for sixth to come across. The spread out the next group heading across the finish line yeah. there too, Bob. My word, they, from fifth to tenth, all went over within about a second of each other. So, Miles FC, Willing FB, Poo FA, they're the winners. Yeah, there's the a bit of action in that. Uh, event there Bob so we're going to have some replays come up shortly so here we go with some replays what have we got here oh this is the move down the inside and uh, touch of wheels into the air and you can see that right hand rear suspension is immediately uh, cocked up it's uh, cocked the leg like the little boy dog on the oh, here is car eight number off the squeal of brakes there from Luke Warwick and he's swift we know he got that going again. So that was the uh, fabulous fa Fast and Furious Formula Ford brought to us by Cool Drive, which we thank them for their support. And uh, we'll be back shortly with the next Absolutely. event. Absolutely. Thanks very much, Bob. We've always had a few cars. They're all special. The T-Bird. Oh, that's mine. The Combi for when we want to get away. The XR8. It's going to be a classic. They're all insured with Shannon's. We've also got Shannon's home and contents cover. Which helps protect our automotive collectibles, tools and memorabilia in the home and garage. If you're motoring enthusiasts like us, it's got to be. Shannon's. Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. We all agree now is the right time to start making choices to support Aussie businesses, supporting Aussie families and communities. Well, from their humble beginnings in Melbourne nearly 100 years ago, Penrite now sit as a truly respected global lubricants brand across automotive and industry. And the best bit, it's still 100% owned by an Aussie family that employs Australians in Australian factories right here on Aussie Dirt. <laughs> 